Hi, I'm George Cow, and today I'm here with one of my clients, Sandy Freshy. I'm excited to introduce her to you and to talk about some of the things that she's been learning as she builds her own business. And I think some of the things she shares with you all will be encouraging for you and help you to grow your business a bit more successfully. Hi, Sandy. Great having you here. Hi, George. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah. So let me start, Sandy, with your bio. I'll read it out loud for everybody. And then um, if folks are interested, of course, they can follow up with you through your website, you know, social media, et cetera. So Sandy Freshy, she is a human design specialist. Um, some of you have probably heard of that before. It's a, uh, I'll just read, read the bio and that seems better that way. She's a level four certified human design specialist who received her initial training and certification from Karen Curry Parker, uh, who is the, one of the more famous um, human design leaders today. Uh, Sandy takes an eclectic approach to her ever deepening understanding of this complex system and has studied a variety um, of material from, from different sources. Sandy believes that the wisdom of human design is already encoded within each of us, and she strives to make the information of the system as accessible as possible so that we can easily apply it to our life and unlock uh, our, th that truth within us. Now, I'll just say a bit, I have been exposed to human, I've actually had that, um, several different people read my human design chart, and I'll, I'll say I, I think Sandy has been to me, the most resonant and clearest. So I really appreciate uh, the work that she does. So Sandy, thank you for doing this. And today we're gonna talk about, we're, let's start by talking about some of the things that you've learned in growing your business. Um, most of the people watching this video are, are, are business owners or they're interested in growing their own authentic business. So um, you've learned a lot. Um, maybe I'll, I'll just let you start with whatever you wanna, you wanna start with there. Well, George, I really have to thank you for teaching me a lot about uh, the way that you do business. We have uh, similar, we're the same energy type, and I didn't even know that until uh, we started uh, working together. And um, I, I just knew that you knew some things that resonated with me. And one of those things that, that you've really created that has helped me is, um, this sense of consistency because I don't have a lot of internal consistency and and I know a lot of people <laughs> in business feel like they don't have a, their own sense of internal consistency and what I discovered by working with you and, and with the group that you've created is that it's so important to have an external container of consistency when it's not really in your wiring to be that way um, and you know as long as I'm being who I am and taking care of myself in the way that I need to take care of myself and not following anyone else's program that system or that that container really keeps me kind of together and <laughs> moving in the the real world the, the 3d world in in a much more effective way and Maybe you can say a bit more, what do you mean by external container? And there are probably multiple examples of how that might work for people, but uh, share well, what you are thinking. Yeah, well, you know, uh, the, the having a group that um, like your beloved Master Heart group that, that I, I love so much, um, having a group to, to go to and to be accountable to and then having some structure, um, not like tight structure where it's a, uh, someone's fixed idea of how everybody should do business, but the way that you've made it so that everyone can find their own way is, is really valuable. And then the systems that you've introduced over time, and I know you have them in your videos, and that's how I got to know you is by watching your videos and trying out some of your systems. Your systems for productivity, your systems for, um, for outreach and marketing are really, really um, valuable and concrete so that they keep me in this, this place where I stay on the rails <laughs> of moving forward. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and I've been noticing that over the past year or so you've 
ramped up your own content and workshops as well. So talk to those who are watching who might be uh, wondering whether they should create content or they're creating content and would like some encouragement. What, what would you say to them? Um, you know, I, I would say that at least for me, the more I do it, the easier it gets. Um, and I have kind of a spontaneous style. I don't have that, uh, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing. <laughs> that I wish I did that you have, but I, I have to go with what I have. And, um, you know, when I go with that, when I really trust that this is the time and I'm inspired and, and I, I have everything set up, the preparation, um, then I can just get that content out a lot more easily. So, um, yeah, that's a really important thing that you said is that, you know, different strokes for different folks. Right. And, you know, I, I tell people, listen, you don't have to do exactly what I do. What I care about is that, that people are, are consistent in their way, how, whatever way that is. I mean, it's, you know, hopefully more than once a month that someone's putting on some content, but, uh, but yeah, so, so within that container, I guess, of more than once a month is, however you want to flow, you know? And so what, um, maybe you could share what kind of content have you started creating? You know, I know you do videos and you have a newsletter, et cetera, but tell us about that. Well, you know, it's all an experiment. It's all, all part of process. I, I do want to be even more consistent and get a handle on, uh, making it the flow a little more easy, more easy. Um, but I, I do uh, create uh, YouTube videos. I blog. I work. I uh, post on Facebook. Um, uh, I sometimes think that it's not a lot, but then other people give me feedback about how they see me up there. They reference something that they saw, and it, it kind of lets me know. Okay, it's getting out there. It looks like I'm. I have a presence, and <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah, and how has that? influence i mean how, how has that uh, affected your business what kind of results are you starting to see from that i i'm really starting to see more interaction and and that's another valuable thing that i've gotten from uh being in your presence i guess and learning from you is not to be afraid to share not to be afraid you know not to feel like i have to hold on to a nugget of of wisdom or information until the right moment or the right thing where someone can pay me for it or or whatever that when i feel inspired that's my intuition saying it's time to share something and i'm not in charge of who gets to see it <laughs> or when they get to see it i just need to trust that that's that needs to come out for whoever it, it's going it's there to benefit at the time when they get it and that has really freed me up quite a bit yeah absolutely um and how in terms of your own uh, clientele your business results uh, what have you seen to be the most beneficial for that, for getting new clients, getting interested potential clients, et cetera? The missing piece of the follow-up, of the, you know, of checking in with, with people. And I'm not as consistent as I would like to be. Um, I have put some systems in place to follow up. Uh, but I've, I've gotten so much better in the last year of just remembering to touch base with people as I go along and to really trust sometimes that when someone pops into my mind, maybe I, that's the time to send them an email because that's the perfect time when maybe I could be of service to them. Absolutely. That's great. Yes. Using our intuition to guide us and, you know, to, to saying yes to that impulse of connection um, whenever possible. Uh, speaking of connection, you also have been learning about the power of collaboration, right? Um, yes. So yes, say let's not that. forget that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the power of collaboration is huge. And um, I think that has been my missing piece uh, since I started this whole dream of having an online business, which has been 
quite a few years, you know, of, of how, do you, how do you actually collaborate when you're not face to face with someone? And, um, you know, just developing those skills over time of understanding that, that you can develop relationships with people that you've never physically met and really um, not, you know, having that courage to, to engage in conversations where we can discover how we can support each other has been huge. Yeah. And in fact, uh, you had, if you've done a collaboration with Bing's Huang, she's the, the, the most recent client that I interviewed for, for this series. So it's, yes. it's great. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's switch gears. We're kind of starting to end this interview and I wanted to make sure people got a taste of the work that you do. So I know that you've got a, a kind of a chart that you wanted to share. And yeah, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to give an example of uh, the typical client that I work with. Now, now I do work with clients that, um, well, let me just show you this chart. <laughs> okay, this is, this is the typical human design chart that I tend to, a person with a design that I tend to attract. And if you notice, there are only like two of these colored in centers, and sometimes there may be three or four, but usually a good portion of these centers are white, which means that these are, these are uh, parts of, of their energy system where they take energy in and uh, they're very highly affected by that energy. Um, they feel it uh, very strongly and it, it can distract them from being who they really are and coming from their own sense of authenticity. So a lot of times when they get to me, um, and, and by the way, this is these centers, when they're open, a lot of them um, show me that this person is very empathic and very sensitive to other people's energies. So a lot of times, by the time they get to me, they, they're burned out in their business <laughs> or close to it or struggling to come back. They're overwhelmed in their relationships and they just can't seem to find their center for uh, moving forward in a way that really works for them. So I work with them on energy management. I, you know, we start with the chart and the education of, you know, when you have this center, whatever center it is, it's white or undefined. Um, you're going to have these potentials for p patterns that are going to throw you off balance. So let's take a look at that. I get them in this place where uh, they can be begin to relax and observe their experience rather than reacting. And then, um, you know, that may happen in one session. It may happen in a series. It, it really depends on the person who's coming to me. Mm. But, uh, yeah, those are usually the people I get and I love to work with. Yeah, that's great. Really clear uh, description and probably some people watching this video might fit that description. So if you resonate with that, you might want to contact Sandy. I highly recommend it. How do you work with somebody new? So uh, somebody, let's, let's talk about, uh, well, let, let's talk about two types of people. One is somebody who barely knows about human design, but they're interested in getting to know themselves better and how to how to more effectively be in the world and, and work in their business. That's one type of person. The second type is the person who is maybe has gotten a human design reading before and now uh, he or she wants to integrate that more and so that they can be more effective. So I know it's a, it's a big question, but yeah. well, how, how do you start with them? I usually like to start with of reading, which is yes. usually takes an hour, 90 minutes, sometimes a half hour, depending on their background. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that we would discuss by email. Um, sometimes people just email me and say, you know, uh, I want to work with you long term. And then we just get on and, and figure out what that is, uh, what they really need and, and what I can provide and, and the parameters of that. We'll, we'll talk about it over video conference. But generally speaking, the point of entry is a, a human design reading and w whether if they've had a reading before, it's usually a laser focused on their particular concern or with that particular concern um, as the uh, lens through which we see their chart. And I do um, 
work a lot with entrepreneurs and, and people. So we talk, can talk about business, we can talk about um, whatever it is that they need. Um, and then from there, it usually takes a little bit to integrate unless they're like in a place where um, they're in a major shift and they know that we know that they need support ongoing. And then from there that we would uh, go uh, probably right into some ongoing coaching and support. And um, if if they're pretty good, they may want to go back and integrate the information and maybe come for a touch up session in another month, or um, you know, come to one of my classes, get a little more information. So I'm pretty flexible about how I work. I have quite a few options there. And speaking of classes that you offer. Um... What's available now? If somebody says, "Oh, I, I'd, I'd love to learn more about what San, about your expertise, Sandy," like what? Yeah, tell us about that. Well, I have kind of a, an intermediate class that's actually up for sale now. It's called uh, "Tracking the Transits." So, if if you are if you're interested in astro, if you know about astrology and you want to know the human design version of that, that would be a good place to start. Or if you're into your own chart, um, this will give you a background and a foundation for tracking how the energies of the astrological transits affect your chart. Um, I have, I'm working on something, a few things, and one of the things I'm working on that will probably be a series of, of classes is uh, uh, working with the energy of, I got to get the right side of the chart, um, the spleen center, which is the center for uh, intuition, survival, uh, vitality, and since we're in the springtime, um, that's uh, that's kind of that that same sort of quality of energy as is expressed through the spleen. So mm, that's wonderful. And so, where can people connect with you? Find your material uh, at my website, Sandy Freshy S A N D Y F R E S C H I dot com. Great, and I will also link to your Facebook business page as well because you post regularly there. Great, thank so. you. Thank you, Sandy. Is there anything else uh, before we go that you want to say to the viewer? Um, well, in terms of the viewer who is watching this because they want some business wisdom, um, you know, I would just say uh, you have to do what works for you and find, find the right people, find the right container and um, find the right support. And it does all come together. So, and, and find the trust in yourself to, to be able to work with it until it does come together. Yeah, it's a great, great way to close our conversation. So thank you so much. And those who are watching this, go ahead and visit Sandy's website. Take a look at her uh, Facebook business page for some great content. And uh, perhaps you'll find yourself benefiting a lot from her classes and from her services as well. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, George. Thanks.